Daniel, Daniel 1. In the third year of the reign of Yahuyachim, king of Yahuda, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, unto Yerushalayim, and besieged it. And Adonai gave at Yahuyachim, king of Yahuda, into his hand, with part of the vessels of the house of Elohim, which he carried into the land of Shinar, to the house of his Elohim. And he brought at the vessels into the treasure house of his Elohim. And the king spoke unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Yashadael and of the king's seed and of the prince's children rather children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science as rather and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Kazdim. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank. So, nourishing them three years, that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Now among these were of the children of Yahuda, Daniel, Chachan, rather, Hanan Yahu, Mishe, rather, Mish, Ye, rather, Mishael, and Azariahu, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name of Baal Pesha Zadzar, and to Hanan Yahu the name of Shadrach, and to Mishael the name of Mishach, and to Azariahu, the name of Advednego. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now Elohim had brought at Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear, eth my lord, the king, who has appointed eth your meat and eth your drink. For why should he see eth your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. Then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananyahu, Mishael, and Ezariahu, Prove at your servants, I beseech you, ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. Then... Let our countenances be looked upon before you, and the countenance of the children that eat of eth the portion of the king's meat. And as you see, deal with your servants. So he consented to them in this matter, and proved them ten days. And at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh, than all the children which did eat at the portion of the king's meat. Thus Melzar took away at the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink, and gave them pulse. As for these four children, Elohim gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar, and the king communed with them. 
and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananyahu, Mishael, and Azariahu. Therefore stood they before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. And Daniel continued even unto the first year of King Koresh.